I'd like to follow up on our last line of questioning uh, with regard to Octel and you realized that you weren't following your regulations. Is that correct? To clarify, and, and Trace, if you'll come back up, I believe that our regulations were not an issue until COVID was placed on the communicable and non-communicable disease list, okay. which did not happen until. So let me clarify. Our regulations point to the Department of Health's regulations, and we look specifically at um, Chapter 28, Code 2771, 76, and 154. So I'm going to acknowledge that we missed an opportunity here. We understood that COVID would have needed to be placed on those Department of Health code lists that explicitly call out specific diseases and communicable infections that our regulations point to. As we were moving into December of this year in conversations with the Department of Health, it was clarified for us that they had the authority to announce COVID-19 as a communicable disease, not solely as a reportable disease, and that we should be adhering to our regulations around infections and communicable diseases that were listed in our regulations. So who added COVID-19 to the communicable disease list? So that's under the purview of the Department of Health. Okay. And so when we understood that, and that was clarified for us, we recognized that we needed to follow our regulatory practices, and that's when we developed the communication and issued the communication to the field. And so how was it that you weren't aware that the Department of Health had added it to that list? So we were looking at the list online. The Department of Health promulgates a list of reportable diseases, and so our staff and team were looking at the reporting requirement of when a child or staff person were identified as having COVID, that um, the child care facilities complied with the reporting requirements. We were continuing to look at the list that were promulgated online with the specific diseases until those conversations began at the in the beginning of December. So do you know when Dr. or when the Secretary of Health or whomever it was at the Department of Health, do you know when it was added to that list? So when we've had follow-up discussions around this, the Department of Health, um, and when they began communicating around COVID at the beginning of the pandemic, they identified it as a communicable disease. But it was never added to your regulations. Our regulations point to the Department of Health regulations. And so when we go online and look at the Department of Health regulations for the chapters that I referenced, COVID-19 isn't currently listed there and that was part of the confusion on our part. I, I think that helps to provide some additional clarity. I, I walked away from our conversation still scratching my head. No, and I realized I thank um, you for the follow-up conversation. <laughs> Yes, and, and again, I would say, um, so we don't wind up overburdening our, particularly our pediatric health care providers, um, this should be addressed. And I thank you very much for that additional clarification. Thank you, thank you Mr. Chairman.